Hey, folks. Jason, I am coming to you today from uh, here at the Sad Iron Studio, home of everything that is painfully honest, tech or otherwise. And today, I've got a video that I, I just, I just want to talk about this thing. Now, you, you guys are familiar with this thing. I did a video about this thing not too long ago, well, when it came out, uh, uh, saying whether or not you should buy it. Overall, I found that it was kind of an okay device, but not the best device in the world. However, um, in the time since since uh, it came out, there have been some things that have happened. And I want to talk generally about whether or not these folding phones are really uh, ready for prime time, ready to be uh, sold for thousands, well, a thousand dollars or fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars or more for the fold three. And we just got to ask this question because let me show you what happened just the other day, okay? So the, this is what the Flip 3 looks like, okay? This is what it does. Now, after I got done with my review of this phone, I gave it to my daughter, and I figured for someone, you know, she's 18 years old, so she's not like a, she, she's not a kid kid. So she's 18, I gave it to her for her birthday, and that was back in November, and I thought, okay, so it folds up, it's kind of compact, a good phone for a young lady like that. You know, kids like to hold their phones in their back pockets. They like to put them back there. She did have two different cases. One was a Samsung branded case, and the other was uh, a case that she had bought herself. They both were plastic cases, you know, not protective enough, but not super protective. But she didn't really ever drop the phone all that much. In fact, uh, there's like there's like a nick or two here, but... This definitely didn't happen from her just like manhandling the phone. She was at work. She opened the phone. It only worked halfway. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see that the screen is broken here. Okay. It, it's just broken. And this isn't the first time that I've seen this. I joined the Fold 3 Reddit when I got my Fold 3 and just kind of lurk there, trying to see what people are, how people's experiences are going and everything like that. And in the time that I've lurked there, I have seen so many posts of people who have the same thing happen. They open up their Fold 3 and the screen cracks in half down the middle. And Samsung has been denying a lot of these claims, saying that it's, you know, physical damage or something like that. So this is the third generation of these products. So we can really no longer say that this is, well, it's, you know, a beta product or something like that. This is the second generation of the Flip, third generation of the Fold. And at this point, the technology, which has been in development for many, many, many years, the technology should be ready for prime time, especially if Samsung is going to be selling these phones for the kind of money that they're selling them. You never hear about a regular OLED screen or, or LED screen failing unless of course it's dropped and cracked or something like that and even then usually those those screens continue to work i mean i hate to do this because i know what kind of uh what kind of situation is going to bring up in the comments but i'm going to say it because it's true if this was an iphone right if this was an apple phone and the screen broke in half like this people would be going absolutely nuclear 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 they are the number one phone maker. They are the top of the hill. They are the ones who get the most scrutiny and deservedly so they should. Samsung should get a lot of that scrutiny too because now that a lot of the other players have left the field, Samsung and Apple are really the only two players of any great size that are left. I just still feel like I don't ever see anything like this for a traditional candy bar slab phone. I don't see it ever. I'm seeing it more often than I think is appropriate. And I know the history of this phone. I know that this phone has been used sparingly when I had it. And then relatively lightly, you know, just regular everyday use while in a case when my daughter had it. The bright side is that we were fortunate. We got this through Verizon and it's less than a year old. So Verizon just just honored a one-year warranty, sent us a new phone, and we send this one back to them. Hopefully, they accept it as, you know, faulty as opposed to, like, some sort of user error or something like that, uh, and we don't have to pay for the phone. But, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments, because I 
really liked the Fold 3, and I liked the Flip 3 other than the battery life was kind of garbage. And I was excited to see how these phones aged because now that we sort of have our feet set and the technology seems to have matured, we can get a good sense of where these phones sit in the marketplace. But this problem has given me has given me pause. And I'm wondering if it has done the same for you. Let's talk about it down in the comments below. Well, thanks very much for being here. If you wanna know about everything that is Jason T. Lewis here in the world, then go check out jasontlewis.com. If you wanna see more of these videos, then hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, like this video so YouTube will maybe send it out to other people. And we will continue to have these boisterous discussions as always. Once again, my name is Jason. This channel was once called Painfully Honest Tech, but now it's just me, and until the next time, I am out.